What's going on everyone? Today I'm gonna to give you my top six tips to get better abdominals. And we're gonna go past just diet down, being a deficit. Obviously that is a huge component of getting abs. You do need to lose body fat to get them, but I'm gonna give you six additional tips that will help you really get abs and really help them be blocky and pop out. And number one, this is by far my favorite tip. This is something I've come to realize further and further in my journey. Like even right now I have decent abs, I'm not the leanest I've ever been, but I've actually been doing very minimal abdominal work. The reason that I actually have good abs is I've been bracing with my powerlifting. When you think of loading up a really heavy squat, five, 600 pounds, you're fighting against it, you're flexing in those abs, you're bracing them with everything you have with that inter-abdominal pressure, and that's gonna help train them and get you used to utilizing them in all of your lifts in the gym. By doing this, you know, if you squat or deadlift really heavy, your abs might be the next day if you're doing it correctly. So this is a fantastic way to keep abs, really challenge yourself, so don't be afraid to lift some heavy weight with those compounds. Tip number two, three, and four are all one of the same, and that is actually knowing to work all areas of your abs. So I'm gonna group them into three easy areas, upper, lower, and obliques. Okay, so your obliques are in charge of your rotary motion. We're gonna start with them. And this is where most people neglect. A lot of movements don't have you or require you to twist. Normally, we know we do a lot of stabilization with the abs, as I mentioned in the last movement. So you're really just bracing, you know, using them as something to kind of balance you out, or crunching, right? Not many movements do involve this twisting motion. So this is something you wanna go ahead and work in your routine. So some of my favorite ways to go about this are wood choppers. You can see me doing with the cable here. We have a how-to, as you can see the video on the screen, you can watch the how-to of that. We will link all the movements down in the description down below. Next up, you know, are actually Russian twists. And there's a lot of fun ways to do these. You can throw a ball to your friend, have them do it, throw it back to you. You know, you can actually stack up things as you do them. It can be a ton of fun. It's a great way to really bring them in. Next one I'm a huge fan of. Now a lot of people look at this and say this is dumb, it doesn't do anything. I'm a firm believer it does. And as you can see me doing it, it's a broomstick twist. It's a very small motion, it's not having a ton of weight, but what I'm doing is cueing my mind and my brain on how to actually use my obliques and rotate them through a motion as I'm dragging them around. Because learning to engage them is what's gonna make them pop out. And as you can see in this clip here, you know, to really get that kind of serratus popping, you know, that little fun muscle on the side of your oblique, this is by far my biggest secret to get that going. Next up is gonna be your main, kind of your upper abs here. So this is gonna be your stronger, your more bulkier parts. You know, a lot of people that have great ab development, even when they're really bulked, you know, myself included, I'll still have these two, but it's very hard for me to get, you know, the bottom two here and then kind of the lower region to really pop out, you know, getting a vein there. You gotta be quite lean. But one of the best tips you can do to really have development and really get bigger, blockier abs, and that's a question I'm asked very frequently, in my opinion, is to actually do uh, the weighted crunch. This is by far my favorite movement. Now, you're gonna hate it once again if you don't know how to do it. We have an amazing how-to in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. You know, we wanna not just say, hey, do this, and not tell you how to do it. So you can check that out. We've helped over a million people learn that movement. But the reason this is so great is you're actually learning how to engage them with some additional weight. And crunches are fantastic, so we're playing, so we're stabilizing movements. We will get into that. But by doing it with a weight, you're really learning to, you know, actually engage under tension with a significant load. So I'm a big fan of that. Next up, you are gonna have your stabilizer movements, right? So you can have your heavy crunches, other variations of that could be a decline crunch. I'm a big fan of that. You're on a decline bench, shooting up. And then of course for the, you know, the stabilization portion for the upper abs, a lot of that will come into planks, weighted planks, all those good things. You know, these are by far the easiest part of the ab to work, but I really want to hit it home that you do have to work all three sections of your abs. Next up is your lower abs. So this area is ultra important. I've actually had mine cut open, so I know how brutal it is to not be with them. So from a hernia surgery, it's another point, but essentially, you know, when they're cutting through there, I was, ah, and I felt so weak. So it's something I've had to really focus on to bring back up and get back to normal. Uh, so this is something I am very passionate about. Now, another reason these are really cool is everyone goes, I wanna lose that lower belly fat. How can I train the lower abs? I need to lose it. So spot reduction has generally been regarded as a myth. So just working these areas won't necessarily make them leaner or tighter. New research has shown it may be actually a thing, so it might work, you know, but I wouldn't put too much stock into if I do a million reps, I'll lose all that fat. You do need to be in a deficit, you know, we're gonna keep hitting this throughout the video, uh, but by actually targeting them and strengthening them, it'll do a ton for your physique. It can help them pop out, especially the leaner you get into your cut. So some of my favorite movements by far are straight leg raises. In fact, Arnold was such a fan of this movement, Arnold Schwarzenegger, if you know who that is, a famous boss 
bodybuilder, he would come in before he even did anything in the gym, his warm up would be to do 100 of these before every workout with the straight leg variation. So he was a beast and he was a big believer in it because lower abs are often neglected. Some other great movements you can do, Kyle will show you on the ground here, you know he's doing flutter kicks, you can do some over, some unders, there's a lot of great stuff you can do. One of the best ways to work them is by actually lifting your legs up or bringing them towards you. And number five tip is probably one of the hardest but also the easiest because you actually have to consciously think about this. Throughout the day if you think of how many hours there are, 24, you're awake for 16, if you're constantly keeping your core tight, you know, thinking of this outside of the gym, throughout the day, you're gonna allow yourself over time with all these tips given to get a six pack. Keeping your core tight is one of the most important things, not only for getting a six pack, but also um, just for posture purposes and just keeping yourself nice and safe. So when you're sitting in your desk working, you shouldn't be flexing to the point where you're lifting 400 pounds like Josh's um, in the deadlift, but it should be about 20 to 30% to allow yourself to feel it working, to allow yourself to activate it. And another bonus one here as well, is at the end of the night, let's say for about 30 seconds, maybe five reps, go into the mirror, do vacuums, just keep it nice and tight, squeezing your core. It's gonna allow you to get that last little bit of that little stubborn body fat over time um, and just allow you to activate a little bit more and feel a little bit tighter over time. And a lot of bodybuilders are big fans of this for competitions to get that last little bit of body fat. And next up, one of the most important things is the abs are very versatile. You can still contract them every single day. It's very important, but you wanna make sure you're not overdoing it. Oftentimes with the abs, um, less is more. So we highly recommend targeting every single part of the core at least two to three times per week. Don't do it seven times per week. This is where a lot of people go wrong. They'll do like 500 crunches each day. And this brings me to my next point. They do that and they're like, why don't I see abs? Like, what's happening? Uh, you know, I'm, I've been doing it every single day. You do have to reduce your body fat. And by doing this, you will have to make sure that you're eating less than you're burning. Let's say you're doing a bit of cardio. You know, a lot of people say 70% uh, of, of your abs come from the kitchen. I don't know the actual math there, but it is true that you need to be focusing on your calorie intake on top of all these t tips given. So, um, good news is we have a summer special, which is amazing. We can help you get there. Basically, what we do is we take a look at your overall physique. If you want to get abs, we will uh, pretty much get the framework down and uh, help you out with your nutrition, create a custom workout routine based off of your goals, your restrictions, and overall the biggest thing that we do is we just help you out with accountability. We're there every step of the way when you have questions, everything is completely customized, and this is amazing because our coaching rate is usually here. We're gonna drop it down to here and do it for a little bit of a commitment, try it out for one or two months, see how it goes, and we will get you in the best shape of your life, but overall, everything's been going well. Hopefully you really do enjoy this video, and uh, thank you so much for watching make sure to smash that like button if you're new to this channel subscribe and we'll see you in the next video peace out